I'm excited to show you how to use our latest tool. It's a word match tool. This is Cindy Manier from Indudu Book Creator. Let's get started. To get to the tool, go to Activity Books, Word Match Puzzle Tool. You always want to start by setting your trim size. I like to use 8.5 by 11. Then you want to go and set how many words per puzzle you're going to have and the number of puzzles. For this example, I'm just going to use four puzzles with 10 words each. You can have either uppercase or lowercase for the words in your puzzle. And I'm going to show you how to use this after I do a preview so I can explain it better. Let's go add our words. Now I have a spreadsheet where I've copied all of these words into so I can just copy and paste them from my spreadsheet into the boxes. So I have the left hand words and then I have the right hand words. So when you put these in, you need to make them match. So the words on the left side and the words in the right hand, when you put them in, you need to have them in the proper order. So in this case, Montgomery is the capital of Alabama. Juno is the capital of Alaska. So I, I've entered them in the correct order, the order where they match. So then when you do a refresh, it's going to rearrange the right hand side. And you can tell it exactly where you want each one of these columns to be. So let's go in puzzle settings. So for the left column, you can set where you want it to line up. In this case, we're doing one inch and we're left justifying. You can pick from less justify, center justify, or right justify for both the left column and the right column. So let's move this right column over further. Right now it's set at 4.5 inches. I know this is eight and a half by 11. So I'm gonna try a six and see if I like where that shows up or not. And I do, that looks nice. I'm gonna just leave that there. If you didn't, you could switch it again and you can also switch all the justification. So how about we make them center justified? Let's see what that looks like. Notice how it moved it over. That's because the one inch is telling it to center justify at the one inch point. So if you want the center justification, you're gonna to wanna to move it over more like that. And the same is true if you do right justify. So now when we do right justify, it's justifying over here on the right side. So this is the six inch mark. Let's put this back to center. I like the way that looks. You can also tell it whether or not you want to have the first answer line shown. So in this case, I'm using a dashed line. You can also use a solid line. And here's what that looks like. Or you can turn that off altogether and then there's no first line. So that's up to you. You can set it whichever way you like. Now let's go look at the answer pages. The answer pages will show you the proper lines for each one of your puzzles. And you can have either one, two, or four answers per page. One of the other things you can do is set a title. So you can either have no title, which these do. You can have title number, and you can change this if you want. I'm just gonna leave it at word match, but you can Make it say my state match or match the states or you can make them say whatever you want it to say. And then it's going to have whatever you put in here, in this case, word match, and then it's going to sequ sequentially number them for you. So in this case, we have word match one, two, three, and four. You can also have different titles for each one if you want. So I have some titles that I've saved in my spreadsheet. So I'm just going to cut and paste those in here. I'll do a refresh. And now that you, you see that it has match the capital of the state, match the city of the country, and so on. For the titles of each puzzle, it tells you exactly what to do. And now you notice that this is too long. So 
guess what? You can go over here and set the font size for the answer pages. Let's make that smaller. Now I'll do another refresh. And now you see that's smaller. And we can make this smaller if you want. And that's how that looks like, but it doesn't affect the puzzles. And you can set the font for the title different than the font for all the words. So let's say we want to use Meriwether for the title. And that's what that would look like. And you can, of course, set the font size for your puzzles, the font size for your words. So you can get it to look just exactly the way you want it to look. Once you have everything the way you want it for both your puzzle and your answer pages, you just click on the download button. And then you have your PDF all ready to go ready to upload to KDP if you've created an entire book or to add to other activities for an activity book. So this is a lot of fun to play with. This is useful for adding to puzzle books or you could do an entire book with quizzes depending on what your niche is. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can set the colors. So if you wanted, you could change the background color to different color. If you say you're trying to make a printable, for example, you could do that. Let's put it back to white. You could set your title color to a different color. You could set your words to a different color if you wanted. And you can also set your line color for the puzzles and the line color for the answers. So let's show you the answers, how that looks. And then let's go turn on the line so you can see what it looks like in the puzzle page with a different color. So there you go. So it's kind of fun to play with, and you can use it for all different, different things. Um, here's some other examples. I, If you're doing, say, children's books, I thought this was kind of a fun little one where you could just put the numbers and then the actual number. But, yeah, let's go turn this back to just one puzzle. So it's kind of fun if you're doing like little kids. that would be a fun thing. You could also use it for, say, somebody's learning Spanish and you have a, a book that you're helping people learn Spanish with. Then you can use the Spanish words instead of the English words. So there's there's all kinds of uses for this. Just use your imagination, look at your niche, and I'm sure you can come up with lots of great ideas for using this new tool. As always, if you have any questions about anything, ask them in the comments below, and I will be happy to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks.